QAV does um, corporate conferences and live events as well as uh, sales and installation of um, audiovisual equipment. We do a lot of work uh, abroad uh, around Europe, uh, conference work, a lot of pharmaceutical conferences and live events. An audiovisual technician I suppose can have uh, many different roles. I mean generally we sort of, we sort of specialise in one particular area. It's not essential to like or, or play music to do this role but um, I suppose most of the guys that work here do have a real interest in music and that's how a lot of them get into it. You know you need certain technical pieces of equipment to record or produce music and therefore that's a sort of gateway into the industry. My skills I suppose are um, the engineering of the sound in the rooms. Um, that's something that I've sort of developed on my university course. So equalisation of microphones is quite important for particular rooms and particular voices. You know, knowing which frequencies you need to drop out to avoid feedback, etc. Um, is definitely a skill that you, ha you have to learn. And it's on the job really is, is where you learn those skills. You can be away five, six days at a time and then maybe come home for two days in the office and then you're back out on site again somewhere else. So you can be away from home quite a lot. You know, I've been to probably every major city in Europe in the last four years and seen a little bit of it, so there are definitely some perks. It can be very, very long days, yeah. Quite often, you know, we have a time frame to get the show up and ready for and it has to be done, basically, so you can be working long days, yeah. What I love most about this job is uh, the variety of work. You, you never really know what each day will bring. You know, you could spend maybe a week in the office prepping equipment to go out or doing CAD drawings. Um, and then the next day you could be on a flight out to Berlin. I think if someone wants to come into the industry, um, it's going to be pretty important to have an interest in technology, um, particularly audiovisual stuff. Musical backgrounds obviously help because you have to, to a certain extent, use technical equipment if, you, if you're wanting to produce and record music. That's how I got into it. And there's lots of different areas that you can approach as well. It's not just corporate live events, you know. The AV world is, is enormous and there's endless possibilities, I suppose.